The German R alphabet is a totally different case. As I mentioned before, it has two sounds. So the first sound is what we call the simple and kind of partially silent R sound, which, as I mentioned before too, is made by opening the mouth and rolling your tongue up to touch the upper part of the mouth while you are saying this sound of R. So this sound is produced when R comes at the end of a word in combinations like R, Air, or or in examples like bar which is the same as the english word bar or nightclub as we call it then where where in german means who in english and the German word Tor, which means gate in English. The simple R sound also comes in the combination vowel plus R plus consonant. As you can see here, in these two German words, the vowel is the blue alphabet, R is highlighted in red, and the consonant in green. Wort in German means word in English. Bart in German means beard in English. Then the simple R sound also comes in German words after certain German alphabets, which you will do with me later on. Like the E, U, and the Ö, as in examples like bear which means the english animal beer tür which refers to a door in english and hör and hör is the imperative form here when you're commanding somebody or you're asking somebody to listen then you will say here. Now the tricky and what we also call the real German R, R comes when R comes in different situations inside a word. But before we go on to that, you need to know that the R sound can be made when you're trying to gargle some ear into your mouth and pushing that ear back into your throat. R. You can also hear this R sound. If you see a dog howling or growling and the dog is in an angry mode and about to attack you. So the R sound can be heard in different situations in everyday life. So this sound comes at the beginning of a German word that starts with air. As in the examples, rot, 
which is the color red in English, and Regen, which refers to rain. This tricky R sound can also come in the middle of a German word in a consonant plus R plus vowel combination. For example, in the word Sprache, which means language. So currently you're learning the Deutsche Sprache with me, the German language. The tricky R can also come in a vowel plus R plus vowel combination, as in the German adverb darauf. Darauf means onto. So, for example, onto a sofa or on a tree. Then the R sound can also be heard in a combination of these two combinations. So, for example, the consonant plus R plus vowel and the vowel plus R plus vowel combination. For example, in the word Lehrerin, 